One of the 16 fake electors indicted in Michigan for attempting to overturn the 2020 election has uh, went on to make a ridiculous comparison. Take a look. The day-to-day -day stress about living like this, I've described it to people as being diagnosed with cancer. I think that's probably what it's like. Um, you just don't know if you're going to survive it or not. Telling everyone that you've never experienced cancer without actually telling everyone. Uh, I mean, th that pathetic display is uh, by Marion Sheridan, uh, and it was aired during the Insurrectionist Telethon on Tuesday, which has been organized by conservative groups. Uh, and basically, they attempted to raise $800,000 to help Republicans who lied uh, about being electors, uh, about being the uh, duly appointed electors of the state. Uh, so now Sheridan is also the Michigan Republican Party's grassroots vice chairwoman. Uh, and so she had a position of authority in the Republican Party, in, in the local Republican Party. Uh, just in case you didn't think that this was an example of how the systemic rot in the state party itself, it is. It is an example. Uh, in fact, State Attorney uh, General Dana, Dana Nessel has said that the fake electors violated state laws as part of an organized effort to circumvent the lawfully cast ballots of millions of Michigan voters in a presidential election. So now, here's the thing. They, they, really, they really don't think that they've done anything wrong. I, I think that's, that's kind of the most amazing thing here that I've gotten from watching this entire drama unfold okay i didn't do anything wrong oh oh really well uh, you did this 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 and this and this forging paperwork claiming that you're real electors when you're actually not in an effort to try to steal the electoral votes and put them towards trump that Donald trump did not earn <laughs> and so that that is a crime and it's a crime very very important to point out that it is something that she chose to do that she chose to commit. Going back to her little comparison here, nobody really chooses to get cancer. And look, maybe this is a little personal for me. My dad's a cancer survivor, thank goodness for that. Uh, but I have known people and know people who, know people who did not survive cancer. So in fact, it's almost impossible to not know someone whose life has been impacted negatively by cancer. Uh, but apparently, Ms. Sheridan happens to maybe be one of them. <laughs> Two, I, I mean, that maybe I'm being super charitable by saying that eh, maybe she just hasn't experienced anybody who knows it and, and, or, or anything like that uh, who, who's been through this to be so goddamn flippant about it and to compare herself to someone who is suffering from a disease that they did not ask for, especially considering how <laughs> what she did, she absolutely did of her own volition. It, it is deeply insulting, in my opinion, for her to go around and make a comparison in order to try to defend herself from, you know, being prosecuted for a crime that she chose at the end of the day to commit on behalf of Donald Trump. No, get, get out of here. Nobody's buying this, uh, these fake crocodile tears.